barely beating the Jets. Stephen A., do you think yeah. Cam at this point should regret even signing with the Patriots? I think so, but it's, it's, it's not because of Bill Belichick and it's not because of the Patriots' tradition or su succeeding Tom Brady. It's because of the Patriots being bereft of the talent necessary in order for him to be but so effective. He missed some throws last night, even though he had a really good game. Uh, he missed about three throws that would have made his game exceptional. Uh, there's no denying that, but the flip side to it is that, you know, just the, the limited weapons that he has available to him. When you're coming off an injury, when you've got people questioning whether or not you'll ever be what you once were and you're succeeding Tom Brady and then on top of it all you choose a roster to go to that really really is challenged when it comes to its receiving core I think that puts him at a decided disadvantage now obviously uh, you know what well, he's got to play better and he did last night compared to what he looked like the three previous weeks, and there's no denying that. And we also recognize the fact that there were people out there questioning what Cam Newton brought to the table, and we know that the Carolina Panthers absolutely screwed him over in terms of the timing with which they let him go. They let him go late, so there was but so many options that he had available. But I would have liked to have seen Cam Newton with some actual weapons to pass to, even though Jacoby, not Jacoby and Myers, the law firm, actually some dude named Jacoby Myers, showed up last night and played effectively from that wide out spot but still that when when I say regret it's only because of the fact that there's so many weapons that he doesn't have available to him at his disposal in the passing game running games different but the passing game I would like to have seen Cam Newton have more weapons available to him and that and and you know last night obviously wasn't an indication of that because he was going up against a horrible uh, pathetic embarrassing New York Jets that as far as I'm concerned doesn't even belong in the National Football League right now but that's just me he he could use Jacoby and Meyer Stephen A because that would mean two guys instead of one he doesn't have anybody <laughs> like everyone <laughs> talked about Tom Brady last year not having weapons right but now take away whatever he had and the defense no Hightower, no Chung, no Gilmore. <laughs> like, Nikhil Harry's banged up. What about Edelman? Like, they got nothing, nothing. They have nothing. And yet, this is why Cam Newton should not regret signing with the Patriots. Do you understand? Largely because of Cam's play, even when he's messed up, they came, they are now two plays away from being five and three with wins against they already actually have wins against the Dolphins and Raiders but you could have added Seattle and Buffalo the Dolphins Raiders Bills and Seahawks two plays away goal line stand Bobby Wagner made a play on Cam and Cam got stripped against the Bills those two plays two plays away from a five and three season with nothing nothing he has nothing no offense no defense he does have Bill Belichick as a head coach though and look at the way Cam Newton has been accountable the entire season. He's been accountable. All those years where Cam, you could see him at the podium running stuff through his mind when he was asked questions, and you could see, okay, how am I going to give him an answer that's PC enough to hear? And he looked so uncomfortable in his own skin that when I watched him, I felt uncomfortable in mine. He came across as fake far too often. He, and, and, and it gave me a sense, no, he's not actually being accountable. Even after the Super Bowl, when he didn't show up for the interviews, I was like, all right, look, uh, uh, or he let, uh, okay, big deal, right? But he did it after not jumping on that ball. And that shows a little, hold on, is he really getting it? Every step of the way this year so far, it sounds to me like he's got it. Like he's actually drank the Kool-Aid finally that like the real football nerd quarterbacks always have. And I think that's incredibly important for his development. And in terms of just judging the results, okay, now because of the results, we're going to point fingers and say, see, Cam, it was a bad idea. No, because I think he's getting better for the experience in important ways. And again, I want to reinforce this point. Two plays away from a five and three record with four quality wins out of those five, out of those five. Two plays. That's a sneaky three and five they are right now, and he's doing it with absolutely nothing. No, Cam should not regret signing with the Patriots. He shouldn't regret, regret signing. Cam needed to play football. We had, and I can't believe Stephen A even said that. It, weapons and all that. Cam was trying to get back in the league and play. 
This was not about coming to a franchise that was in position of winning or whatever unless he wanted to be a backup. And clearly, he wanted to be in a situation where he could start and have an opportunity to play like we all thought he would. Now, the first couple of weeks, we was like, okay, we see some of the Superman things transpiring, and then the last few weeks have been abysmal. He's played bad. The team is all of the things that we talked about with the New England Patriots have shown themselves. And then we get them against the Jets. And look, I know they won against the Jets, but I ain't all the way sold on New England either. And I get what Max is saying about coming close in those wins. So you have to take that into account. But for Cam Newton individually, he shouldn't regret anything. He's back in the league. He's ha having an opportunity to showcase what he has for the rest of the teams in the league. And I think well, it was more about that for 31 other teams than it was about necessarily signing. Is he healthy? Can he throw? Can he be a part of a team and come in and do what he needs to do in order to make them better? So you got the, the ups and downs. You got the ebbs and flows of the season and seeing things go mm -hmm. good and go bad and then good again last night. But Cam mm -hmm. can't regret well, signing with the New England Patriots. <sighs> He's playing football. Well, Pastor Spears, here's, here's the part that you're missing, Pastor Spears. You have to understand, and you of all people should understand this, uh, study in the Bible the way that you do. When we speak in biblical terms, uh, obviously things are subject to interpretation. The question was, should Cam uh -huh. regret signing with the Patriots? What I was was I was alluding to was, if you had to sign with anybody, could it have been somebody else? Of course, if you got nobody else, you got to take what you can get, and the Patriots were there, and nobody else was there. All I'm saying was, in a perfect world, if you have an opportunity, if you had had an opportunity to end up with some someplace else other than the Patriots, is that something that would have been more desirable for oh, you, per se? Oh, and that's so, how so I'm looking wanna, at it. So, that's how so I elected to answer the question. It's subject to interpretation. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.